DeFi is making its way into a wide variety of simple and complex financial transactions. It's powered by decentralized apps called DApps. We have already discussed about the DApps in our previous videos. DApps or the other program called protocols. DApps and protocols handle transactions in two main cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin that is BTC and Ethereum that is ETC. Hello everyone, welcome to Fame World Educational Hub. I am Ashwara Saxena and this is Blockchain Series. In today's video, I am going to discuss that how DeFi is being used in the current scenarios. While Bitcoin is the more popular cryptocurrency, Ethereum is much more adaptable to a wider variety of users, meaning much of the DApp and protocol landscapes uses Ethereum-based code. Let's discuss some of the ways DApps and protocols are already being used. Number 1. Traditional Financial Transactions Anything from payments, trading, securities and insurance to lending and borrowing are already happening with DeFi. Number 2. Decentralized Exchanges DEXs, DEXs. Right now, most cryptocurrency investors use centralized exchanges like Coinbase or Gemini. DEXs facilitate peer-to-peer -peer financial transactions and let users retain control over their money. Number 3. E-wallets. DeFi deployers are creating digital wallets that can operate independently of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges and give investors access to everything from cryptocurrency to blockchain based games. Number 4. Stable Coin While cryptocurrencies are notoriously volatile, stable coins attempt to stabilize their values by trading them to non cryptocurrencies like US dollars. Number 5. Yield Harvesting DeFi makes it possible for speculative investors to lend crypto and potentially reap big rewards when the proprietary coin DeFi borrowing platforms pay them for agreeing to the loan appreciate rapidly. Number 6. Non-fungible tokens NFTs NFTs create digital assets out of typically non-tradable assets like videos of slam drunks or the first tweet on the Twitter. NFTs commodify the previous uncommodifiables. Number 7. Flash Loans These are cryptocurrency loans that borrow and repay funds in the same transaction. Sound counterintuitive? Here's how it works. Borrowers have the potential to make money by entering into a contract encoded on the Ethereum blockchain. No lawyers needed. That borrows funds, executes a transaction and repay the loan instantly. If the transaction can't be executed or it will be at a loss, the funds automatically go back to the loaner. If you do make a profit, you can pocket it, minus all interest, charges or fees. Think of flash loans and decentralized arbitrary. The DeFi market gauges adoption by measuring what's called logged value, which calculates how much money is currently working in different DeFi protocols. At present, the total logged value in DeFi protocols is nearly $43 billion. Adaptation of DeFi is powered by the omnipresent nature of blockchain. The same moment a DApp is encoded on the blockchain, it's globally available. While most centralized financial instruments and technologies roll out slowly over time, governed by the respective rules and regulations of regional economies, DApps exist outside of these rules, increasing their potential rewards and also increasing their risks. In the next video, I will discuss risk and downsides of DeFi. So if you are new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and share the video with your friends. See you in the next video.